Space, the final frontier. This is the two and a half year journey of the build of the Starship Enterprise. Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models. Welcome to stage 76 of building the Enterprise D. Uh, in this episode, we shall be putting some more lights onto another, um, not also the other one, the, the lower one, I can't remember what it's called now, the, the lower hull of the saucer section, it will come to me at some point and you'll tell me in the comments but I don't remember what it's called. Uh, right so we're going to fit these two lights to this exactly the same as we've done before, I'll do one and then obviously do the other off camera to show you. Point in repeating myself so many times. It's another part of bending, unfortunately. We've got to bend these out at 90 degrees. Oh, I don't like doing it. I really don't. None of them have bent. I haven't broken any, but I still don't like doing it. Uh, so these are fitting with one of these brackets and an AM screw. Uh, so let's get a couple of those out because I will be using them. AM screw through the front of these. These have both got L written on them because they are obviously going into the left side of the... In. I almost had it, almost did it, but then I thought dorsal again, and I think that's not right, that's the top side, isn't it? Uh, so let's get this one on here. Uh, basically the bulb fits on there, a bit like that. In there. And this bracket goes over the top of it, and basically just holds it in place. It's not difficult. It makes perfect sense. It works. Uh, the wires will need a little bit of adjusting and bending to get into the right place once you've got the bulb in the right place. But then that bulb will light up the window of the panel that is being attached on top of it. It's an interesting way of doing it. It's probably not quite as efficient as the Way that they were fitted to the other side but um yeah it will work it does the job so that holds that in there that's yeah, not terribly tight i shall tighten that up a little bit more yeah that's now not moving so that's good uh so there we have that uh another one to go in up here as well uh, and then we'll see about fitting it to the thing. But before we do that, before we get the entire saucer section in the way, I, I shall skip ahead to step D, where we're going to be looking at this that I've already been playing with. Look, here comes some. Then the neck bit obviously fits on top like that. It's 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 coming. It's starting to look a bit enterprisey. So yeah, it's interesting. I do like the way it fits together. Uh, I'm not entirely certain about how secure that bit's going to be on here. It feels like it could be very secure indeed, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so actually, I'm going to be fitting this onto there. Uh, it goes on this side. So we've got all the all the windows obviously blacked out in the correct orientations. Uh, that is going to fit on there. Which way around is it going to go? It's going to have to go that way around, doesn't it? So it fits. Just goes on there. The same as all of these always have, it pops through so we get windows and blacked out windows. The other side will be done very shortly and we'll be putting a reflector over the top of that, I think, next time. Uh, so that is that. I'll move that out of the way until next time. I'll bring in the saucer section and we'll get this attached once I've fitted the other window to it. Uh, window. Light. Light. Not window. Light. Right. So this panel is fitting over this side. We're working our way around here a little bit more. Uh, just making sure the wires are out of the way. Uh, again, we've got a bit that's got to go underneath here like we had before. So carefully, might need to loosen this panel off to get that under there. The rest of it is just going to fit in place like so. So yes, I think I'm going to have to loosen off a couple of these. Just a touch, just to give me a little bit of movement here. Get that wedged underneath, like that, there we go. Uh, obviously, again, 
make sure you got if you've got any tape in the way make sure it's not in the way when you're finished make sure the wires are not getting trapped anywhere underneath anything uh, so we've got a single am screw is going through this part down here that and remember to tighten up any screws that you may have loosened easy to forget that if you you know just need to loosen a couple of screws to get a bit in make sure they're tightened up before you come back to it uh then we've got uh fm screws in the next four holes along here and then the remainders up the top are all the normal bm uh so making sure wires aren't trapped making sure everything lines up where it should going to get a few of these in but not fully tightened make sure everything lines up where it should uh, actually I'm going to get all of these FM's in otherwise I'll forget where I've got to put them <clears throat> uh, it looks like we've got the same thing to do under there with loosening to get the next panel in uh, interesting how the last panel is going to fit because you know just interesting so that's that. Uh, let's get a few of these in and then I'll get the rest of them in and tightened up while you're not watching. Here we go. They all seem to be lining up okay. The wires are not getting trapped under any of it. Especially these wall pieces that you can't really see from that angle. Uh, these wires will need to be plugged in as well. Let me get one more screw in and then we'll wire them up. Let's see if it works. down there right where do they need to be plugged in uh they are going into the first two on this board over here so nice and easy uh that one looks like it's going to be a stretch to go any further than the first one so let's get that one in the first one do that gap here that in there down there we go and then this one will go just next to it over here. Still got lots and lots of empty spots here. But let's flick the switch. Both come on. Flashy navigation lights. Still happening over here. It's all coming together. Yeah, I like it. So I'll get the rest of these screws in, get all tightened up. And then that will be the end of this week's build. I shall see you very shortly for the next one. Uh, where we're going to be continuing playing around with that battle section windows section and obviously making more panels because we've got to keep making panels because that's what we do forever and ever right see you soon thanks for watching bye bye for now